Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Dara Gomartin and I'm a 24 year old real estate agent in Dubai. I actually work in the off plan team here with House and House and this is going to be our May review. So how I've been getting on in May and I know I've been a little bit late posting this. We're nearly at the end of June posting this and I've actually had a couple of people reach out to me, people I don't even know, just on Instagram, LinkedIn, ask me when the next video is coming. So I actually appreciate the support. I'm still alive, I'm still kicking. So yeah, let's just jump into how May went. So what everyone wants to know is, have I closed my first deal? No, I still have not in May closed my first deal, but we improved a lot. So we have a lot of learnings um, that we, we took from May and we'll see now with the stats that I usually run through each month and we'll see how we improved. So what we learned this month is that the calls work. The amount of cold calling and calling out to warm prospective clients, it works, the hours I've been putting in. This month, I had 32 first meetings with clients. 23 of these were via Zoom and nine in-person meetings here in our office. So this was just an absolute crazy return um, on investment or on investment of calls. If we remember previous episodes in March, I had eight meetings. April, we had eight meetings again due to, you know, maybe a slowdown of floods and also Eid. And then a huge explosion, 32 first meetings in the month of May. So I learned a lot from these meetings. I met a lot of interesting people looking to invest here in Dubai, whether as an investment or for their personal home. And I really just enjoyed this month. So what I learned maybe from these meetings is that I didn't convert them from a first initial meeting to a sales center visit, either in person or a Zoom tour with developers. So I didn't really maybe set the expectations well enough on that first meeting that, hey, this is what we're going to do and explain to them the process. And maybe I missed out on a few people, but this is something I've learned and I'll fix going on in the future. Following on from that, I had four developer meetings this month with four separate clients. Two of these were via Zoom and we had two in-person meetings with developers. So how these are progressing. So the two via Zoom, I'm just, one of my clients is waiting to sell their apartment in the UK and then deploy the funds over here in Dubai. The other Zoom developer meeting that we had, the client just had some issues personally um, and, and now needs to wait for a better time to explore the market again. So the options that we did, we showed them, obviously did not, uh, were not attractive enough for them to move forward. So they'll just go into my pipeline, I'll keep them updated and ready to go for the next one. So the two in-person meetings went well. So uh, one of them, we'll, maybe we'll see in the next June um, monthly review if they maybe purchased one. And then the other one, we're looking at some villas. So we maybe have a story there as well to tell. So the biggest learning maybe I had this month, which is difficult to take, is that time kills deals. And I understood this intuitively from leasing. I'd experienced it in leasing when you've a deal agreed, but it just takes time to get everyone to, write, uh, to sign the contract and make the money paid. And for various reasons, it falls apart. I knew this intuitively, but still, when I came to off plan, I've made mistakes and I didn't get deals, a deal closed this month when I should have. So, you know, I lost out on approximately 75,000 euros in my pocket worth of commission because I was not able to get the deal closed. So if you ask other people, maybe in the office, there, there's different people to blame. Maybe the developers were to blame, um, but I take full responsibility because that's how I improve and that's how I, yeah. Like I asked my manager, um, came to me the week afterwards when it fell through and he, he goes, you're taking this very well. And I was just working, I was making phone calls and I, was working, and I was like, what else do you want me to do? Like, do you want me to curl up in a ball and cry? It's not who I am, it's not how you improve and get better, so what's the point? All, all there is is to analyze what went wrong, see how I can improve and go forth from there. So that was a tough one to take, definitely, and maybe, want to dive into a little bit deeper in a different podcast or explain the story in detail. But for this video, 
it's something I just want to let you know that these things happen in the off-plan game, in the sales game, in, in real estate. And one of the big learnings maybe is to desensitize yourself from money. There's huge commissions to be made in this job. And the, the last thing you want is to be maybe counting your paychecks before you actually get paid. Um, going online, maybe looking up suits uh, and watches that you want to buy. It's not done until it's done. And because there's huge amount of commissions to be made, there's a lot of money sitting in a pile waiting for you and you think it's just there, you need to de desensitize yourself because you might just end up, as I did, not closing the deal because you're not professional and you're not on point and you're not getting things done as quickly as you should be. So that's a huge learning that I had to take and bring forth with me. But I think these things will only make me stronger going forward. And I think, you know, it's part, maybe part of God's plan to make me the best real estate agent possible is that I have to go through these difficult stages and I have to learn these harsh lessons because I don't learn lessons uh, the easy way. I don't learn lessons, listen, there, I'll get the deal closed quickly. Um, I don't learn that by someone just telling me. I have to get punched in the face to learn a lesson. So ultimately, I only see this month as a positive as it will make me a stronger, more resilient broker going forward and better be able to control my emotions, control the emotions of people involved in the deal and get clients what they want when they want. That's what I've learned. Maybe the last important thing I've learned from this month is that all sales are emotional. Even from people who think they might be rational thinkers or analytical thinkers and they'll study the numbers, they'll look at the price per square foot, They'll look at comparables in the market. They'll look at what are the capital appreciation outlooks for the future. They are very rational thinkers and they like to look at the numbers, but ultimately when it comes time to make a decision and to push the chips in and go all in, that's an emotional feeling. And they're gonna look at numbers, yes, but those numbers need to muster up some emotion inside of them for them to go all in. So. That's just something I, I've come to realize and learn. I am someone who comes from a background, very good at mathematics, studied economics and finance in school, worked as a data analyst. I'm very numbers driven, but I've realized that even me, even people who are like me, they need to be persuaded or in a way that touches their emotions. And it's, it's not in a way to be deceptive, all the numbers are on the table, but it's just something that I've learned is that even people, rational thinkers, um, will act on emotions in those situations. So going forward, I'm hoping to post more content now, get back to re regular uploads with YouTube, also short form content. I know there are people that have found these videos very, very valuable, both people looking to become agents uh, into the realities of what the job is actually like, and also clients are finding them very useful. I've had clients reach out to me looking to explore the market and they just appreciate the honesty and transparency that I'm bringing to this whole market. So I think I'm changing the game to be honest. There's not a lot of content producers out here in the real estate game who actually provide the genuine insight that I'm doing. So I think it's only a matter of time before this takes off and I'm crushing the market. Yeah, so I'm planning to make more maybe vlog style content where I go visit some areas in Dubai that are under development. I'll go visit the sales centers to show you what projects are going on. I think they're gonna be really good and people respond well to them. So if you have other suggestions for what type of content you wanna see as well. Also the podcast, I did mention that before, but the podcast is definitely in the works. I kind of want to get a few YouTube videos done back on it now and then we'll start the podcast because I think I'm more suited to the podcast game anyway rather than kind of vlogs and stuff like that. But And finally, yeah, if you are looking to invest in Dubai real estate, I'm more than happy to help you and provide an honest, transparent uh, look into the market, the latest insights, where we see the market shifting and what are the best opportunities for you. So book a call. In the description below, I have a Calendly link. You can book just a 30 minute short Zoom call. I'll get to understand you and your investment goals better and I'll be able to show you the best options in the market. Finally, yeah, please like, subscribe, comment, but yeah, we'll see you in the next one.